YouTube, headphones and stuff, coming at you with another video. This one being on my latest pickup. Uh, this would be the Goyard Belvedere MM bag. Uh, I just recently picked this up at the store at the Battle Harbor shops in Miami. Uh, so let's start off first with the packaging that you're going to get the bag in. It's going to come in a green uh, kind of tote bag like this with a glossy metallic Goyard print there with the address and it says Paris and also has their logo. You also have these nice yellow straps that come down the side and then the lining of the bag just as the actual Goyard bag would be is yellow. With the bag you're also going to get a few other, few more things. Uh, you got this little pamphlet here, has the logo and basically just a little piece of paper inside that thanks you for purchasing from them and tells you that you can go to their website to see how you should care uh, care for the bag and uh, how to store it and whatnot. And then you also get this here, let me zoom in. It's another paper and pretty much this is where they put your receipt and also just their return policy which pretty much is like if you take the plastic off the bag and wear it like you can't really return it because uh, it's such a high price item. But uh, I'll show you the total amount that this bag is going to run you for the MM size. Uh, the MM size is a larger, more unisex size that's going to give you a boxier look versus the PM which is more round, very small, and that's usually what the females would go for. So this definitely has a lot more uh, appeal to a male audience and uh, you'll be able to put larger things in it. But here's the total amount that this bag is going to run you in the United oh, States, no. including tax, and this was in Florida. It is $2,546.60. So yes, it is an expensive bag, but if you're buying Goyard, uh, you already know that. The bag itself is going to come with this yellow dust bag that says Goyard, uh, and then the address Paris. Pretty much the same thing that the green one did, but uh, printed in black on a yellow uh, dust bag and it also has these black straps on either side you pull them and obviously it'll uh, close up this is where you would store the bag uh, when you're not using it for long periods of time or even in, if you just like to store it in there period uh, just so you feel like it's not getting dusty or exposed to the elements but uh yep and then let's get to the actual bag itself here it is in the classic Goyard chevron uh, pattern. Uh, Goyard's really known for not really having much of a logo that they put on their, their products, but more of a pattern similar to Louis, Vuitt Louis Vuitton uh, with their monogram. But uh, the bag itself is made with uh, leather along the sides and accents and whatnot. And then the pattern itself is woven from cotton and linen uh, fibers and then coated with an exclusive natural preparation ensuring exception, exceptional durability. That's according to the website. Um, but yeah, this is the black and tan color. Uh, the classic colors, which is like black and tan uh, and just regular black, and I think there might be one or two others. Those are going to be significantly cheaper than the special colored ones, which would be like your maroons, your blues, yellows. This bag is available in like 11 different colors, uh, but you have to keep in mind that it is a, a rare bag and they keep very low stock of them in stores, so uh, it's highly advised that you visit the store first or call over phone just to see if they have one in stock before you go to purchase. Uh, most likely they're not going to have those super bright colors just on hand in store. That would be something you'd have to order and then it would get shipped in from uh, France. But yeah, let's get into some of the smaller details here. You have the strap that runs all the way along the bottom and can technically be removed. And then it has that white stitching along the side. And it has the holes there and the buckle which is like a very glossy uh, material there. And on the inner side of the buckle, let me just zoom out a little bit, it does say Goyard Paris. You're probably not going to be able to see it. I'm going to try my best to get it in the camera. Yeah, it's not going to focus in, but it does very small say Goyard Paris on the inside of that buckle there. On the back side here, you're going to have a flap for extra storage. 
uh, along the inside of that it's going to be that yellow there and then the actual um, canvas runs further down and so does the strap. On the front side you have the strap that goes down into the little holder buckle type thing. Uh, the previous Belvedere, which was the original one, this is the Belvedere 2, uh, had two straps that kind of had to buck unbuckle and stuff. It kind of seemed like a pain. This one's much easier to use. You just pull it out, put it back in. Uh, you have that white stitching there as well. It says Goyard Paris. Let me zoom in there. Goyard Paris kind of uh, etched into that material there. Pull this out. Open the flap up. And uh, there's the inside of your bag. Let me zoom in on this embossed part on the leather right there. It says Goyard Paris made in France. Then the whole thing is just lined in that yellow, uh, I guess, cotton. I don't know what material specifically, I forget. But it's, it's lined in that yellow material there. You're going to have two flaps, uh, two flaps <laughs> for storage here. One large one in the middle and then kind of a skinny one that runs along the width of the bag that you could probably put like papers and stuff in there. Uh, I also have my matching card holder. I made a video on that as well. Uh, that was my first purchase from Goyard. This would be my second. Uh, one thing about wearing it I found is that it's much easier to open and close this uh, flap here when you're actually wearing it. Uh, you really have to push that metal part down into that hole and make sure it's popping out in order to put this strap through there. So when you actually have it on with some stuff in it, it's much easier to just, uh, as far as the angle goes, just push it in. And uh, I found that it's very easy to just grab the strap right around here and kind of angle it up as you're pushing it in. And that makes it really easy to just quickly uh, loop it through. But yeah, that's much easier when you're actually wearing the bag. Uh, I guess right now I'll show you what it looks like on me. I'm six foot two. Uh, so yeah, let's see that. There's a couple reasons that I would recommend buying from Goyard versus a brand like Louis Vuitton. Uh, the first one would be that uh, they're a much more exclusive product than a Louis Vuitton. Goyard is actually the oldest operating uh, like trunk and luggage maker in the world. Uh, they predate Louis Vuitton by one year. If you go anywhere pretty much nowadays, the grocery store, airport, wherever you are, you're going to see like 20, 20 people with uh, Louis Vuitton duffel bags or handbags, especially women with handbags. It's just a very common thing when you see it. It's, it's just not very special because it's, it's so readily available. The thing with Goyard is that they, to this day, uh, refuse to do any online sales. The only way you're going to buy it online is from a, uh, a reseller like uh, The Real Real or Grailed or some place like that that authenticates and resells them. But Goyard uh, themselves is never going to sell you a new product online. The only way to get the product from Goyard is to either go to a Goyard store, uh, a place like Bergdorf uh, Goodman's or Barney's in New York City, uh, would also have some Goyard products, not all of them obviously, but a select uh, amount of products would be available at Goyard boutiques in those stores. But even then, it's very limited on where you can buy it. There's only a handful of stores in the United States. Uh, closest one to me is New York. I personally got this one in Miami just because I was on vacation down there. But uh, yeah, the only way you can even o order over the phone from a Goyard store is if you've already uh, purchased a big item from them in the past. So like previously, I purchased the card holder from Bergdorf Goodman, which is technically a Go Goyard boutique, but uh, it's through another store. So I wasn't able to order this over the phone. Uh, now, if I wanted to order over the phone because I've bought this uh, expensive bag from the Miami boutique, I could call the boutique specifically in Miami again and be able to order from them because now I'm a like a valued customer or whatever. So that is the only way to order over the phone from them. Uh, the only other way would be through wire transfer, which takes like 10 days through the bank and takes extra fees. So if you're really that desperate to get it, you can do a wire transfer online. But besides that, your best bet is just to uh, find your way to one of their stores uh, and call ahead to see if they have the inventory available. The bag's 
hold their value pretty well as long as you don't beat them to death you're gonna get a very decent chunk of what you bought it for back when you go to sell it uh, if you are if you do sell it I probably will not sell this item uh, just because I, I buy it because I do think it's kind of like a piece of art the store kept emphasizing to me that this bag is very rare a every store I've, I've called and even when I went to the store in New York uh, she she told me that she doubt they'd even have one in stock in Miami just because it is such a rare bag So yeah, that's gonna conclude this video if you liked it make sure to subscribe check out some of my other videos I've done one other on Goyard and I do a lot on shoes and uh, Clothing here and there so make sure to check those out and I'll see you next time